Welcome to the Vector Software. In the next videos, we are going to go through the Vector Software together and focus on important features, graphs, um, and buttons, and what to know and how to conduct a correct analysis. Now, once you open up the Vector icon on your computer, you will get to this page, click on Login, and you will have your reception right in front of you. When you have a new patient, click on New Card, put in their first and their last name, Now the other information as far as middle name, address, and phone number, those are up to you. The birth date is important to put in, um, as well as, oops, one second, as well as their gender here. And the group of blood, if it's known, it's also important because it is going to make uh, things like foods and supplements, um, well, especially foods and allergens, it's going to help to be a lot more accurate if you do know their group of blood. However, if you do not know, it's still going to be accurate. Um, it's just better to have that in there if the group of blood is known to you. Once you are done, you will click on OK, and then we get to this page here. I call this the Complaints page. And basically, you see a body of either the male or the female client um, or patient. And what you will do here is input any complaints that they've been having. Um, something that's a complaint would be considered uh, a problem that they've had for a while. If they had a headache yesterday, or if they had some sort of pain um, for an hour, two days ago, those are not considered complaints. Something that we consider a complaint would be um, a stomach ache for the last two weeks or a head headache for the last month. Something that's been consistent would be considered a complaint. So then what we would do is we would click on the red dot which would closely or would correspond the closest to the area of the body that they've been having pain or complaints or anything like that and then um, depending on what is offered here in the list we will check that so if they've had deterioration of appetite let's say for the last months or pain in the abdomen tract um, you would click on that and check those things accordingly we, I recommend not doing more than five complaints uh, for each client just to keep it at a mi minimum. The other button here is called the diagnosis button and this is um, this is only needed if the patient or client has been to a physician or doctor before they came to see you. So if they went to the you know to the emergency room or if they went to their uh, doctor and they've been diagnosed with um, hernia or they've had an intestinal tumor, something like that, if it's already been diagnosed by somebody else, by another professional doctor, you would want to check that and make the system aware of what they've been diagnosed with in the past. Now, these other features here, the face feature, um, as I call it, is very helpful if you have your patient in front of you, which I would always recommend having your patient sitting in front of you and you looking at your screen alone um, until the scan begins. That way you can examine them and look at their tongue, at their face, into the eyes and see maybe if you have any clues um, with this helpful face feature here to which and where their problems could be. For example, as we see on this page, it uh, describes problems of the large intestine and in the list here with the one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four here, um, it tells us what to look for on their face and what would represent large intestine problems. Okay, so the, f uh, the face feature, the eye feature is similar as well. It shows you pictures of the eye, different ways that the eye may look, and what that would mean. 
what to look for. The zodiac button and the group of blood button, they are descriptions in this box here of people who have been born on between or on certain dates and what they could be more um, sensitive to, prone to having, and just a description if you find that helpful. The group of blood is the same thing. People with certain blood types should stay away from certain foods and um, be more aware of doing things and exercise and things like that. So the group of blood and the zodiac are very good and very helpful descriptions for us to get to know our patient. And I would actually recommend going through all of this uh, when you have a patient for the very first time. The other thing that I need to mention is that when you have your patient or your client come in, you want to make sure that you are making them comfortable. Um, and these pictures here are actually very helpful too because people love to see their organs and tissues and they want to visualize and um, imagine what's happening and what you're doing. They want to see what's happening and what you are doing to their uh, to their body, to their organs, how the frequencies are being read, how the therapy is effective. So all of that is very helpful to them to sort of give them an idea of what's going on. But when they first come in, it's important that you give them maybe a glass of water, their soft music playing, that they're just relaxed, especially if they've never done this before. Um, also make sure that all of their jewelry is off, that their cell phones and keys are put away and further away from the device and from the computer, especially from them. Um, and also that you have the least amount of technology around the software and around the um, the device as possible just to minimize any interference okay so moving on there are two options here there's an option that says detailed and an option that says normal if you want to spend a lot of time with your patient you can click on detailed this is where you're going to see all the DNA RNA strands um, a lot more cells a lot more um, chromosomes and just other things that are not going to be in the normal research. The normal research button here is going to have all the organs, major tissues, all the systems, things like that, but it's not go going to give you all the extra features just in case you are um, on a certain time frame, which is helpful. Okay, so let's just go to detailed for the sake of the training. We'll click on continue. Now we have the list of organs all together at the bottom. If you see, there's 589 all together. And you already see that there are some organs and tissues that are already checked. And basically, the reason why we were checking complaints on the previous page is to give the system an idea of what is going on and what we would like to see being checked. So you can actually just go ahead and click on research and it will scan the client for you and as it finds more and more issues it'll add to the list on its own so it's like your own personal um, helper that's going to scan and take care of your client but if you want to do it yourself you would like to do it manually or if you see there are areas that are not checked that you would like to scan then you can go through the list and do that if you notice there's a lot a lot of organs here and it would take a really long time to go through all of this in front of your patient so what you can do and I love this about the software is what you can do is you can actually um, input and program certain organs and when your client comes in instead of going through the whole list you just click option one two or three and you're ready to go for example, if I have, uh, the way that I do it is I have an option one for male, female, and child. So if I have a male come in, I'll just click on option one. If I have a child come in, click on option two. And that way it just saves me a lot of time. The way you save them is you click on setup and click on the option that you would like to program first. So option one. And then check 